a few days away from Christmas, and if you're looking for a last minute gift, Paige has got you covered with her DIY stand-up stockings. Look at those, they look like stand-up stockings. They could be like little uh, ski boots. Ski boots, yes, for the Canadian inside well, you. Well, you know, I can't help myself. Skiing. But you wouldn't believe that these are actually made from a two liter bottle. What? Yes. Really? I know. I didn't believe it was true until I finished. You have to show me. I will show you. Educate and the else. young Jedi. Okay. So yes. any two year, uh, two liter bottle is okay. <laughs> yes, even one that's old. Two even years. one that's two years old. Yes. Okay. So you need, um, you need a bottle. Actually, I would say no. You couldn't use any because there's some bottles that kind of go up and they don't keep that cylinder oh, shape. Oh right. Okay. You so you really need that shape to be cylindrical all the way down. Okay. Good point. Okay. Very so nice. So then, what you want to do is we're going to create the inside of our boot okay. by using this. Okay. So we've got to so cut it. Yep, we've got to cut it, but first we're going to mark it. I tried to freehand this at home, tried to cut it, didn't go well. Really? Yeah. Even you? Even me, yeah. So I'm going to um, mark it at two and a half, okay. but I'm going to do this all the way around. You don't actually have to connect it, but you need to make sure that you're checking in with yourself at two and a half all the way around. Then, if you wanted to go further, you could go up five inches um, for the next part. Okay. But I am going to skip ahead for one that I already have had um, prepared. I so see. now you would just take a knife, go in it, and then score it all the way around, and it will come off. And yep. then you're done like dinner, and you got these guys right done here. Done like dinner. Whoops. Done Would like... you be a love and grab that for I me? Sure Thank will. you so much. I sure okay. will. So this top, we don't need. I'm going to leave this down below. So that's the only part of the bottle that we're not using. It's the only part. Yep. Very so good. you can see I just took that from there, cut it, set it aside. Now this becomes our boot. You they... need these bottom parts. Beautiful. Now we go to the foam core. Is that the idea? Go to for the, the foam base? core. Yes. Excellent. I don't want to block you here with my favorite little uh, glue gun. Okay. So now you're going to turn this base over like that. Okay. That's going to be our toe of the boot. Mm -hmm. And you're going to go back here uh, for the actual base of the boot. And I then, gotcha. um, just take a marker, go all the way around. You can kind of see that I've outlined it already. Um, you can bring it in in the middle if you want to, kind of like a real boot, or you can just make it, you know, like a full snow boot where it doesn't go in at all. You see what's happening here, but that's the footprint of the boot. As if that it is was the like walking on the foam core. Exactly. So I'm going to take off our mm -hmm. little boot. You would also then use your X-Acto knife again okay. and cut this out all the way around. Let me guess. Oh, no. Nope, right, right there. Got it. I was looking for it. There it is. You tricked me. Okay. Good. Now, I tried to use glue to put this on. Let me tell you, glue and uh, these plastic bottles don't go well together. We read the it melted. A little, glue's a little warm for the plastic yes. bottle, isn't it? So look at how easy this is. I just took scotch tape. I'll have you hold that for me just like this that. Is, this is like almost rookie 101 DIY isn't using it? the scotch tape. I love that. You, um, and you can't tell when it's done. You cannot tell. Okay, so that's our toe. We'll do the same thing back okay. here. You think Allow I put my me. name on it? I put my name on the tape so no one Did you? steals it. Yeah, well, you have to as a crafter around here. Okay, <laughs> so, yep, just doing Hold tape on. there. Oop. Thank you. Bring it to the edge. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got the base of our boot. Look at that. Oh, well it's done. so cute. It's coming together. Of course, we need a little bit of fabric now. A little fabric. Okay, Cover so it up. So I, what would you recommend? I took flannel. You can use fleece. You can also use cotton. Right. Flannel's went, a good call, though. It is. So I went 22 inches long by 8 inches high. Okay. Um, and then you really just want to wrap your boot. And I'm going to put right here because I know where I want it to go in the front there. I am going to take the boot attach it right there. Whoops, a little hot glue. And all these this. dimensions and everything will be uh, online as exactly. well, right? Exactly, yep. Okay, good. Okay, then bring it all the way back. Good. Uh, we're done with the tape. We can move that out of the way. And then you you're know, kind of wrapping this like a scarf. When I'm skiing, we have these little boot wraps sometimes for the kids when their feet get cold and you have like mm -hmm. the little things that go over. Do that they look, look like this? like this, yes. Okay, so now if you... Except they're not flannel and pretty. They're just more, <laughs> they're more functional. So all I did was kind of connect it on the back there. Okay. See? And just rolled it over. Gotcha. And then um, I have glued myself to the board. <laughs> can you well, at least that? you can glue your finger to the boot. Exactly. Great. Okay. So now um, you can see as it stands up, yep. it just looks like a great big boot. Now we're going to make the shape of the front. Okay, good. Now you want to fold this, it down. You to be a little careful. It's almost like wrapping a present, right? It's actually really, really easy. Okay. Yeah, I was real worried about it the first time, and then after I was just making these really nice, fast. Nice. So look at that. You just tape, or not, not even tape, we're going to glue it, because as long as you're off the bottle, you can use hot glue. It's totally Beautiful. fine. Beautiful. So we're going to just fold it over. That is going to set up, and then this top part, we don't even have to glue. We're just going to tuck in like what? that. And then you got to put the little trim. You got the faux fur. We've got the faux fur. And a little burlap for yep. the bottom. If you could unravel the burlap. I'll do the burlap down here. Excellent. Now these two, you just want to go around. I actually got the wired ones, which makes it kind of stand up 
a little straighter. I'm gonna hide the fact that I didn't actually cut mine in the back because it looks fantastic <laughs> from that angle. So I'm just oh, gonna it leave does. it like that. It does, yes. You would want to glue around yeah. all the way around. Sure. And then um, we can just tuck in. And you tuck the and top in just like that. Tuck the top in. And then, guess what we have to do? And then you gotta fill the stocking. I'll we let gotta, you kind of do all the good, all the little handiwork well, here. Well, presents. Well, actually, you can throw those presents in there. Okay. While I am doing Boop. the embellishments on the front. Okay, good. All you have to do is add a little glue. This kind of makes it look like. By this the is way, really, what makes it look? It good. definitely does. You you did a great job. There's some presents there, some candies, some, some snacks, candies. all things we love in stockings. Full instructions. You know where to go. <laughs> Hallmarkchannel.com page. Excellent. You've done it again. Here, have a pretzel. Thank you. You deserve for it. all my hard work.